Hey, what's up, everybody? How you guys doing today? So, quick uh, video app review of Google Hangouts version 2.3, which has the Google Voice integration. So, uh, when you when you grab the AK, the AK the APK file and you want to um, update your Hangouts, this is what it's going to look like. This is a new UI. So, off to your left, just at the Play Store and everything else, you have your setting your you know your menus. And uh, a couple things you can do is you can invite. You can check your archived conversation or your blocked people list. You can snooze notifications. You could uh, change your mood. So that's actually really cool. Uh, and this is your settings. This is what you're going to use in a little bit to kind of set this up once you've up, you've updated to it. So um, on the top here, you have your, your contacts, messages, and dialer. Well, what's weird now is that because Google Voice is being integrated, you have to download the Hangouts uh, dialer, which um, just recently I read a post that Google is uh, prolonging this update because they want to polish it off a little bit better before releasing it to the public. I'm hoping you don't have to download an add-on like Hangouts dialer. I hope it's incorporated into Hangouts itself. You know, because downloading multiple apps just to get a function is just sometimes a little bit annoying for some people. And I can understand that. So anyways, um, yeah, so it works the same as it does before, as, as Hangouts has always worked. You can chat, you can video chat, you can message, you can text message. Okay, take away one of those messages, because I just realized that I just said message twice in two different ways. So you can chat, and you can video chat, and you can text message. Ha, 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 have a laugh at me. Um... So, yeah, you could do all that as you did before, but now you have this option to, oh, uh, no, I don't want to show that. Well, I went to my contacts. Okay, so when you tap up here, it goes to your dialer, and this is what the dialer looks like when you press it down there. You get this uh, white-looking little dialer down here, and you can dial numbers as usual, you know, just like a regular phone. So, I mean, there's nothing really spectacular about it. It doesn't order pizzas or fly cheeseburgers at you, but it gets the job done. So to integrate Google Voice, once you have this update and you have the Hangouts dialer, there's a few things you do need to do. One of them, well, both of them you can do here on the, the application. The last step, you need to actually go either into your browser or on a computer and do it from the browser there to, for, to you know the forward, the forward call settings. You guys need to alter those. So let's do the two settings here. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go into your settings, and once you're in your settings, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go with SMS first. Let's deal with that. So right up here where it says account to show SMS in, when you click that, if you have SMS only, it's going to show just text messages that come to your mobile phone number. But if you have it set for your your Google account, then it'll show, of course, the text messages to your phone and um, your Google Voice text messages. So you'll get both your regular text messages and Google Voice text messages sent in. And, uh, yeah, that's how you pretty much get that going. Uh, once that's done, you want to go back out and you want to go to your uh, profile. And the reason why you, you want to go to your profile is down here where it says uh, incoming phone calls. You want to check that. So that way when phone calls come to your Google Voice number, as you guys see right there, it says Google Voice number and it has my number, which is blurred. Um, Google Voice calls will come to your phone. So those are the two settings you need to change in Hangouts app. The third thing you need to change, you actually have to go into your browser and go to Google Voice and in settings on there where it says uh, uh, forward calls, you need to uncheck your mobile number because if you have um, Google Voice calls forwarded to your mobile phone and to your Gtalk, when someone calls your, your voice number, your Hangouts is going to ring, but before you can even swipe to answer, your regular phone is going to start ringing also. So you're going to have double calls ringing. So, you know, just to make it very simple, just choose one or the other. If you want your calls to go straight to your phone, then just, you know, don't even um, check for phone calls to go to Hangouts because then it's just going to ring twice. But if you want Hangouts to be your, you know, what you use to answer Google Voice calls so you can distinguish between the two, then you need to go into your browser, into Google Voice settings, and uncheck forward calls to mobile phone. That way your mobile phone will not ring when a Google Voice call is coming through. So once you do all that, you pretty much can enjoy getting phone calls, video chatting, text messaging, Google Plus chatting, all from Hangouts. And it's working great. Now, like I said, Google is pushing back the date that they were going to release this update because they want to polish a few things off. Pray, oh, pray, oh, pray, pray to the great Google people that they do not 
well, that they do actually, not do not, but they do get rid of the Hangouts dialer and incorporate that into the application already because it's annoying to download multiple things. So what you guys could do for me is tell me your thoughts about it in the comment section of this video. Um, is is uh, Hangouts something that you're going to want to start using as your default uh, messaging and all that good works? Or are you guys still going to continuously push to third-party text applications? And, um, yeah, you guys want to tell me that in the comment section of the video. That will help me out. And uh, if this video helped you out to set up Hangouts, go ahead and give me that thumbs up because it really helps me out. And um, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers that have subscribed recently in the last two weeks. Thank you guys so much for helping my channel grow and become successful. I really appreciate that. And uh, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can join all the fun of uh, videos like this and other content on my YouTube channel. You can also check out uh, some of my past videos to kind of like see if there's anything you guys are interested in. And as always, thank you for watching. You guys have a great night.